Bonnie, happy Saturday night. I am back. We have a full on Scooby Doo mystery on our hands. It's like the Twilight Zone, Doctor Who, all wrapped into one. We have a big mystery. I think I solved the mystery, but gosh darn it, Bath and Body Works, you tricked me good on this one. <laughs> Apple Macchiato. In fact, Washington's finest Apple Macchiato. It's pumpkin apple. I totally, totally missed this one. And I, it's kind of interesting because I really do believe that a jar style and a name can kind of trick your brain. Because I've had that happen before to me. And um, it's an interesting marketing, like, I don't want to say trick, but like smoke and mirrors to re-release stuff. And it's funny because when I first got um, the Washington's Finest Apple Macchiati, which apparently is like, it's supposed to be like an espresso with like frothy milk. It is uh, spiced apples, hint of cinnamon, caramel drizzle, and frothed milk. Um, I'm cold. I feel like I was getting a little bit of that, like, frothed milk. I felt like I was getting the cinnamon. I got the apple. And I really loved it, which totally makes sense because you know that pumpkin apple is, like, seriously one of my favorite candles. So I have a unburned pumpkin apple from a couple years ago. And I actually did, like, a closed eyes sniff test. I'm actually going to mix these up on my lap and smell them. I honestly, I have my eyes closed. I honestly can't tell which one is pumpkin apple and which one is the apple macchiato. They are identical. Pumpkin apple? No. <laughs> See? <laughs> It's the same candle, um, which really, really surprised me. I think this is the first time in a really long time um, that I have really been uh, shocked by a, um, a repackage, which kind of is depressing because I thought this one was going to be like original. I'm like, oh, I'm going to burn it. I'm going to get the frothy milk. I'm going to get a little bit of different scent notes in here. And I'm not. It's funny because I've been burning this one for a while now, and I'm like, this smells really good. And still, even when I was doing my last video and I'm burning it, in my mind, I'm just going, yeah, this smells really good. It smells really good. I get the apple, I get the cinnamon, and then I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's pumpkin apple. <laughs> so I'm not a huge fan of Bath & Body Works um, doing this because the problem is, it confuses people, number one. Um, number two is you think you're getting a brand new candle when you're in fact not getting a brand new candle. Um, you're getting a repackage because it does say, um, you know what, it's interesting. Oh my gosh, you guys. So here's another um, interesting piece of the puzzle. Oh, it does say new fragrance. I was like, does it not say new fragrance? It does, it says new fragrance. And it was funny because um, someone had actually messaged me and said it was pumpkin apple. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and um, then I started reading the reviews and I'm like, oh my goodness, I cannot believe that this is pumpkin apple, but it is. And like I said, my mind, um, the, the packaging is so different. It really is. And when you read the sign notes, it's funny because if they had actually added these scent notes, um, like the hint of cinnamon, the caramel drizzle, the froth milk into pumpkin apple, you'd go, yeah, I do smell the froth milk. Red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, uh, fresh ground cinnamon, and clove buds. I never get clove buds and cinnamon, uh, pumpkin, uh, pumpkin apple, by the way. I always get the cinnamon. Um, the clove to me, I mean, it's there, but it's like really, really like tiny. Um, you know, this is just, it drives me crazy because I can't believe I, I did a blind smell test. 
And I, I, I thought this is quite an angle. I mean, if you really, really, really pick it apart, maybe, just maybe, you could say that there's like a little tiny bit of difference, but not much, not much at all. Um, as far as the burn on this one, <laughs> getting to the burn, um, it's beautiful. I actually like it. Um, a few people have said it was weak. I'm actually not getting a weak scent. My throw on this is about like a 9.5. So I'm pretty happy with the throw. Um, it's just, it's just quick and ample. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, Bath and Body Works. I feel like this has been a really, really weird Twilight Zone kind of, um, kind of experience for me because I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, it's pink and apple. So go figure. Let me know your thoughts on this. I'm curious to see what everyone else thinks, but this was a really, really weird release. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.